Greetings barbecue enthusiasts. Today for your grilling enjoyment, we are going to be doing moink balls, as I understand it. That's bacon covered with meatballs that are beef. The smoking element today, we'll be using hickory wood pellets. So my assistant over here today has got our moink balls. She's going to place them on the grill. And here's what they look like before we get started. So we're gonna put these on the grill and we will see you in a little while. Bye. Okay, we are back. All the moink balls are on the grill. These are already heavily seasoned. They've got salt, pepper, a little bit of basil in there. There's uh, some onion powder. And inside the actual meat mixture, there's some barbecue sauce we've already put in. We're gonna let these go probably about an hour to start. We'll check them at that time. And then we'll uh, decide how long to go from there. We wanna make sure that bacon's thoroughly cooked. Our version of these today, we're going to be doing, uh, I guess we'll call them moink ball subs, which are going to be uh, moink balls, obviously, with uh, kids like manwood sauce. So we're gonna try to put some manwood sauce on these, base them with that, and put some manwood sauce in the actual submarine bun. So we're gonna do moink ball subs. So we'll check back with you guys in about an hour. Okay, we're back, it's been about one hour. I did come out and flip these meatballs over at one point, just to make sure they were evenly cooking looking pretty good so far so I'm going to uh, start putting some sauce on these guys I'm going to use that bandwich sauce that we talked about earlier because my kids will pretty much eat anything if I put bandwich sauce on it so I'm going to do that so I'll sauce them up and I'll show you what it looks like okay here we are got them all sauced up let them go for about 10 minutes I'll come back flip them all over do it again I'll show you what it looks like in a bit. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's uh, pop the top, take a look, see what we got. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to give these a flip and I'll do the sauce on the other side. Looking pretty good so far. I won't bore you with all that. I will flip them and I will get back to you. Okay, here they are all flipped over once again. I'm going to just sauce these sides up. And that's probably going to be pretty much it for these. I may do another layer of flavor or another kind of sauce. Second side all sauced up. I'm gonna let these cure for I don't know, probably 10 minutes and then I'm gonna start to build one of the sandwiches and I'll try to take you through that. See you in a bit. Okay, the first thing I do is grab a nice fresh piece of bread or a bun, in this case a sub bun. And I put some of that sauce on there, which was the manwich sauce. I actually tasted that maybe a little bit sweeter for the kids. I put some ketchup in there, so it's about a 50-50 mix there now. And then you go to your barbecue where you've been creating those moink balls. And pick off, I don't know, probably maybe four to six of these and I'll put them in a sandwich and I'll show you what that looks like. I can't hold the camera in and do that. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I got about five in this bun. It depends on how long your bun is gonna be. And next I wanna do is I wanna put a mixture of, uh, I've got some sun-dried tomato cheese and some feta cheese here. I'm gonna sprinkle that throughout the sub, try and get it so I can see it. And then I'm gonna take it into the house and I'm just gonna run that into the broiler to get it all melted. And I'll show you what that looks like and I'll try to find a victim to eat it. I'll be back. Okay, for our final presentation, my assistant has our product at hand and she's going to be the official sampler of the first moink ball sub that I know I've ever made. Okay, so we're gonna put the plate down and my assistant's gonna take a piece. Mm. Did you get any meatball there? Mm -hmm. my, my assistant says it's a thumbs up, so that must be good. So that's all for now. 
I'll see you later.